Hello everyone, my name is Wilson and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can save contacts on your Android device. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Go to your device and find the contacts app. Now right here on my phone, I don't have my contact app on my main page here. To find it, what you have to do is with your finger, you can swipe from the bottom up to access the app draw. From here, you just have to find the contacts app. In this case, mine is in the second page. Right here, you can see on the second row, I have the contacts app. Click there. Once you have clicked, you will see that it shows you a list of all the contacts on your device. What we want to do here is to add a new contact or to save a new contact on this list. In your case, you might not have any contacts if this is your first time saving a contact on your phone. To save a contact, what we have to do is click on this plus sign and it will bring all these fields that we have to fill related to the contact we want to save. If we click and hold in any of these spaces outside the fields and drag up, you will get this option right here below that says view more option. If you click there, it will open a lot of other fields that you can fill related to the contacts that we want to save. In this case, for this tutorial, we are just going to focus on the main ones. If you notice, Right here at the top, you will have the email address where you are going to save your contact. At the end of your email address, you have this small arrow. Click there. Once you click, it will bring more options where you can save your contacts. It's always good for you to save your contacts to your email address. This is important because if something happens to your phone or you are not next to your phone to access a specific contact, on the browser, on your laptop, you can have access to that contact. You can find that contact through your email address. Besides your email address, you also have the option to save the contact directly on your phone, which is this option that you have here. If you select there, any contact that you save here, it will be saved to your phone. I don't recommend this option because once again, if you lose your phone, you lose all your contacts. So it's always good for you to save your contacts directly to your email address. In this case, I will click again on that arrow and select my email address so that my contact will be saved to that email address. Now, if you look to the main fields, in order for you to fill, you have the name, the phone, the email address, and then groups. Let's focus on these two main ones, the name, Click there. Once you click, it will bring your keyboard down here where you can write the name. I'm just going to write your name. Okay. And then in terms of phone, click there on the field and then type the phone number. When saving a contact number, in my case, I always like to start with a country code. In your case, it might be different, but this is how I save most of my contacts. So in this case, I will start with my country code. After that, I will type the phone number. Once you have finished typing the contacts, the next thing to do is click save. Your contact now is saved and your phone will take you automatically to the contact page info. Now, right here on your contact information page, I'm going to point out two settings. One is edit settings and the other one is the option to delete. You click here on edit if you want to edit anything related to this contact. For example, here on your mobile, you might notice that, oh, maybe this number is not correct. You can click to change and then click save. Your contact will be saved, will be updated based on the change that you have made. On the right side, after the share, you have these three dot options written more. You click there, and then you have the option to delete this contact. You click delete if you want to delete and you get this notification right here below. Just asking you again if you really want to move this contact to the trash. If you want, 
you just click move to trash and that contact will be deleted well everyone this is how you save and delete a contact on an android device if you found this video helpful don't forget share it like it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one have a good day